tag with my earpiece. But guess what? Uh, we are on the other side of the Mara River. My name is Brett Gersmith. I've got Zander on camera. And we're on a big exploratory day. So we're going to be moving quite quickly. We've got a lot of distance to cover. Yesterday, I got a message from Graham. As he took off, and he was like, Brett, you need to go find the hyena den on the other side of the river. It looks really big. Well, we're here. And look at that. One of the most wonderful ways to start your morning. Now, we had to get up at um, about five this morning. It takes about an hour and a half to get to the side of the river um, because there are no bridges across the Mara River. We had to go out of the reserve and around. And uh, the first thing we found, and I must say, for someone who spotted this from an airplane, Graham's directions were pretty good. So there we go. Uh, we've seen nine babies so far. And there's three there. Oh, there's another two over there. I'm just going to have to jump across. There's one. Now they're living in a in a in a stormwater drain underneath the park. And in the long grass to the left is an adult and another young one. But some of the other babies have gone underneath and uh, there are lots and lots of hyenas here. Uh can't see there was a second adult, but she seems to have wandered off into the longer grass to rest for the for the day. But they are very happy and fat little hyena cubs that we have here. So we're on the eastern side of the Mara River at the moment. And Zander, can you show everyone that green, darker green patch up there? Now that is the Marsh Pride's territory. So we're going to see if we can try to find them this morning as well. So very, very exciting. We have not been here yet. And uh, this is just so exciting. This is all new country. And uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover today, as I said. Um, we're going to work all the way down towards Paradise Plain. Uh, from the marsh and maybe up to the ridge, see if we can find Paradise Pride and Ridge Pride today. And uh, also, I've got, forgotten the name of the river now we've got to go visit. Hi, Lorena. Lorena is wondering, do the hyenas lead to lions? Uh, sometimes they can lead you to lions, but not necessarily all the time. And specifically not uh, when you're around... Uh, when you were around a hyena den, and the hyena den, the, the hyenas would try to keep the lions as far away from it as possible. And uh, hopefully, uh, for the little cubs, that is, that the lions don't find them. Now, I think this is a very big clan. It's very difficult for me to judge. This is the first time I've seen any of them. But they are just too cute. And it's, it's quite chilly here in the morning, so they're all enjoying a bit of morning sunshine. Um, I've seen about four different ages. Uh, there could be younger ones that haven't popped out because there are no adults here. But they're living underneath the, the, the stormwater drain. Hey, little one. That one has definitely got some character. Now, we're also going to be heading towards the Talek River, which is down to the southeast of us. And that's also one of the best places in the Mara to find leopards. Okay, so we, as I said, we've got a lot of ground to cover, but we will be coming back to this den a lot, I'm quite sure. But while we move on, seeing what else we can find, hopefully the marsh pond, it sounds like Tristan has got something large and grey. <laughs> 